Okay, so today we're going to do a paper towel roll sculpture. I've already kind of crumpled mine up a little bit um, so that I can kind of work better with it. Uh, but you need a piece of paper for your base, some tape so that you can make it stand up, and an uh, old paper towel roll, and maybe some paint or markers. Um, I'm using paint today. So I'm going to take my tape, and I'm, I'm going to pick an end that I want it to stand up on and I'm going to tape it to the outside of my paper towel roll and I'm going to do this around the paper towel roll I'm taping about half half of the piece of tape is on the paper towel roll and half of the piece of tape is sticking out so we can stick it to our base and I'm doing this on all four sides so it'll stay really nicely. So I'm going to kind of fold them down a little. Sorry, so you can see. And I'm going to place it and stick it really good to our base. Now you can maybe bend it down. I've seen some where they're able, where you're able to make it kind of like a bridge. Um, you can use other pieces of paper towel to, or another peep, uh, like a toilet paper roll to add on to this. But I think I'm gonna try and. It's okay if it uh, rips, that's totally fine. I think I'm gonna tape this down and make it a interesting looking kind of sculpture here. I might let it stick up like that. So, I kinda like the way this looks. So I'm just gonna take my piece of tape and tape that down like that. So if you see, I just took a little, one piece of tape. Maybe I'll add another one to the other side. Yeah, I'll add one to the other side just so it'll stay really well. So I'm just taping the outside and taping it down so it stays. If you want to trim your base, that's fine. And then, last but not least, you get to decorate. So add um, pom-poms, add more pieces, uh, maybe, um, what's it called? Um, pipe cleaners, maybe add um, more pieces of toilet paper rolls or um, other pieces of, of uh what you call it? Paper towel rolls. I forgot my brush. So hold on a second. I'm gonna take my big brush that I used in the um, um I can't find my words today. And the beach painting. So I have some red some blue, and some yellow. So I'm just using primary colors today. And next, we just paint. So I want this side to be red. And you're going to want to paint over your um, tape so that it looks like one whole sculpture. Can you see what I'm doing here? Really trying to get in all those creases.
you want to paint your sculpture before um, you crumple it up and tape it down, that might work too. I'm not really sure. Um, but it probably will be fine if you use uh, your clear tape. If you use any like sort of masking tape, you're going to want to paint um, afterwards so that you can paint over the tape and it'll look like one whole sculpture. I'm gonna try to do this a little quick for y'all so you don't have to watch me paint this whole thing for 10 minutes. <laughs> but if you want to layer on paint you can you can um, maybe let like the first layer dry and then go ahead and do a second coat I'm trying to really get in that back part right there Oops, sorry I can't see I'm just lifting it you can all right now I'm gonna go in with some yellow I did not clean my brush off, which I know is a no-no. That is something that I'm always telling y'all to do. But I really wanted to like mix a little bit of orange here. I'm gonna make it a little bit of a rainbow structure. Lift it up again so I can get under here. And you can get as detailed as you want. Maybe you want to put dots on your structure, maybe you want to. Do stripes. See, I'm trying to really get in there. All right, now I'm gonna wash my brush off. Really good because I want it to be a pure yellow, a good yellow. Not so orangey peachy. <laughs> so dip it in the water, dry it off, then start with my color. Maybe paint some flames on yours. You want yours to look kind of snowy, maybe snowflakes, like for um, frozen. Um. And if you have like a cut in yours, or a rip or a tear in your structure and you want to get rid of it, <clears throat> that is probably where I would add a another um, paper towel roll. I don't really, I don't have another one, but that's where I would add another one. 
or maybe some paper or um, some pipe cleaners coming out of there. Use your imagination. This is your structure. This is like your sculpture. Now I'm gonna end this part with some blue. I'm just kind of making a green here. And I'm just kind of going messy with it, you know? Like, I... This uh, sculpture is pretty abstract. So I kind of wanted the way I painted it to mimic that. Kind of messy and dirty, I guess you could say. Get that last bit right here. Alright y'all, here is my little structure. So have fun with it, be creative, and get to making some sculptures. Have fun, bye.